In 1971, Bruce Lee returned to Hong Kong from the United States to film Golden Harvest's The Big Boss, which broke the highest box office record since the opening of Hong Kong. Both Chinese and Western films were far behind. The lead actress was Maria Yi from Taiwan in her early 18s. selling ice on the street. Maria, who was still unknown, had only acted in one movie before filming The Big Boss a few months ago. Wow, 跟我又有什么相干呢 就看见那把宝剑了，你就小心了，知道了，快躲开！什么人？哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！哎！
After the release of The Big Boss, the innocent, simple, and kind-hearted Maria really made people's eyes shine. Perhaps it was the appearance of Nora who was relatively fresh and has an angelic face, or perhaps it was Golden Harvest's need to balance the distribution of roles. So Maria did not become the lead actress of Bruce Lee's second movie Fist of Fury, but just a guest star who didn't even have a dialogue. You'll make yourself sick. Please eat just... Just something. Hmm. I won't. You mustn't say that about your second sleep. You really must. If you go on one. Don't think that. Of course it'll work. It should be Nora's tender character in Fist of Fury and the few affectionate scenes that successfully captured the hearts of many male audiences. When it came to the third film The Way of the Dragon, Bruce Lee's self-written, self-directed, and self-acted film, Nora became the best choice when choosing the lead actress. When it came to the fourth film Enter the Dragon, with the layout of the plot, it should be difficult to place a role like Maria in it. Even Nora, who has no film appointments, was at best only a minor role with Betty Chung playing Mei Ling. I want to talk to you, Mei Ling. Where do you come from? Brunswick. Let's be quiet. Have you seen anything? Nothing much. I'm kept in a palace, watched always. I know I don't have much time. Afterwards, everyone knew that Bruce Lee passed away suddenly, and there was no time to give Maria a chance. After the big boss, Marie only played minor roles in a few films in the following years. Yoshima, 你们来干什么你说发现一个赌徒向我父亲这位是高品淑子小姐
Seeing that there was no career breakthrough, Maria married in 1974 and faded out of the film industry after 1976. One point needs to be mentioned, Bruce Lee was originally the leading actor in A Man Called Tiger directed by Lo Wei. But because the two disagreed on the filming matters, the leading actor was replaced by Jimmy Wang, another popular action star at the time. You, what a copycat! Anything you can do to me? The audience's impression of Maria basically stays in the movie The Big Boss. Even so, this is enough to make her a goddess in the hearts of thousands of audiences. In 2023, Bruce Lee had been dead for 50 years. In the world, especially overseas, there are still many male movie fans who can't forget Maria's speaking eyes in The Big Boss.
unforgettable at first sight. Smitten at second sight. Before the closing, I Bruce Lee found Maria's comments on Bruce Lee in her diary in September 1971 after filming The Big Boss. Straightforward, unassuming, everything is an intuitive response, so he will not hesitate. If an artist should have a special temperament, Bruce Lee's temperament is the factor for his great achievements in his career.